Okay, welcome to the Lower Than Podcast. We have Julia Stoyanova back from episode 37. We're going to talk about ass eating, producing shows, two girls in a cup, uh, the guy that sent her a uh, gun pick, not a dick pick, a gun pick. Ooh, we have a great toy for sucking your clip. Again, ass eating again, butt plug, scooping, we break down to pornos. And about the 9-11 show. Don't do 9-11 shows. Again, if you want to do a podcast, hit up James Webb. Please support the podcast. Sign up for Patreon. Three bucks a month. Minimum tier. Help me out. Please. Also, if you like the podcast, please tell a friend. Also, YouTube. Subscribe. I get a thousand subscribers. I'm on the road so I can monetize and try to make some money on this. So I'll get you guys more content. Okay. Lobo Den. Okay, welcome to the Lobo Den Podcast. I'm your host. I'm not Drake because I don't groom underage women. My name is Javani Diaz, <laughs> right? You fucking pervert, dude. Like, the chick, she's 11, wasn't she? The chick from 11. I don't know how old she was, but it's disgusting. Anyways, to my left, James Webb, people at Comedy <laughs> Studio. What up? And then in front of me, coming back, because she was previously on episode 37 of Lobo Den Podcast, Julia Stoyanova. Yay. Oh, I want to know. Is there music or something you could throw in there? Give me a, a drop. Julia Stoyanova. <laughs> Yeah, some Bulgarian thing. Some Bulgarian thing. Yeah. Right. I find some Bulgarian <laughs> shit. Julia's back on the Lowdown podcast. Uh, previously, we talked about you being Bulgarian and exes. And so, hey, what are you talking about water before we went on here? You're saying Bulgarians don't like water? Like No, we have a very bad relationship with water. But you water. like the sea, right? We're, you we're be... like, ugh, water. No, but not for drinking. You know? Okay. Like, ugh. No, no, I hate water. There's like so many other options that you have. What do you guys drink in Bulgaria? Like? Beer, rakia. What's rakia? Yeah. Okay, it's like um, a plum brandy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what the Rokia deserves. Yeah, a B drop. <laughs> oh, <it's such> <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's very good. Very hardcore, by the way. So hardcore. Yeah, I should bring you some. Yeah. Next time. Do you have any? I don't take a shot. No, right I don't have. It's in my house, but I, I should have think about it. I took a shot yesterday of mezcal. So I used to run mezcal Mondays. I don't know if it's around anymore. I went to their website. I didn't see it. But yeah. anyways, anyways, it was that Latino show, right, at Zany's, and we had a sponsor mm -hmm. something, Tigre de Oro Mezcal, and I had some yesterday, because for the last, I don't know why, yesterday I was very antsy and angry, and I was like, I was, just, I was my girl, and I was like, I don't know why I'm so angry, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> May I just, I had a lot going on, so then I was like, let me take a shot of this Mezcal, and I had it. And you feel so much better after it was, that. And I liked it, I enjoyed it, so I might switch, I usually drink whiskey, but I might switch over to, to Mezcal. But I don't like water, personally. No, like, what do you? No. I would rather have. I am telling you, like, my organs inside probably they're just like a little Voldemort, just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, trying to survive. Oh my god, yeah, I will probably die pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, water is just. I hate water. I don't drink water. The only time I drink water is uh, now I've been drinking it more, a lot more. Like, um, like okay, a few months ago, right? Yeah. Uh, I forgot when it was. So a few months ago. I had uh, I had erectile dysfunction. I was like I had anxiety. I was getting boners. I was like I'm not drinking enough water. Like it all got in my head. So I started drinking a lot of water okay. and different things. But it was like I guess it was all mental. Uh, anyways, I don't, know. I don't like just pushing myself to drink it. Although people were saying when you start drinking it, you're feeling way more thirstier. You know, like your body ad adapt for this. I'm like, ah, I, well, that sounds like so much work. That's my theory with uh, <laughs> the lotion, right? I don't wear lotion. I don't know if you wear lotion. <laughs> That was a turn. Okay, but lotion. Because <laughs> look, you wear lotion? You're a yeah, girl, right? Yeah, yeah, a lady. But I don't wear lotion. And That's then right. I've heard, I think I stole this from Adam Carolla. I don't know if he wears or even barely showers. But anyways, I don't wear lotion. Ew. And I don't do any, yeah, like he'll wash his balls and stuff. Uh, a ghetto shower, as my girl would say. And you don't have time to shower, just wash like basically your junk. Or my other friend says rinse off. So like, let's say you're going out, right? Mm -hmm. And you're in a lady. I won't say who it was. I just said who it was but like you gotta go you don't have time to shower so you just clean the like your vagina your butthole as for a man you do your crotch do you need area. a shower for this you can do it on the sink oh yeah yeah no yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's called a shower but not oh, necessarily okay. i mean or you can actually just run just step over and then run it and just throw it in there i've seen it happen like or what i as a dude i'll go and it's like i'll rinse off my friend's like i'm uh -huh. just rinsing off 
a guy I know, so you just go and then wash this area. But any the lotion, sorry, I'm oh, yeah. I'm going off topic. But the lotion, <laughs> I don't wear lotion, right? And I feel like I don't wear lotion. I don't really need it most of the time. But you start wearing lotion, you start wearing chapstick. Your body's not producing the natural or whatever it needs naturally that uh, you need. And all of a sudden, you need this stuff anymore because I don't wear any of that stuff. When it gets really dry out, sometimes I wear it, but I don't wear it. Like every once, I'll throw some coconut oil on me. Or something like that. But I don't use well, it. And I, don't, and I never really need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, you know, like, this, I don't know. Well, this is my theory. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, one advice for me, if you're going to a sauna, do not put lotion because <laughs> this thing is coming out of your body <laughs> at oh. that point. And you're just like It'll a sticky. Too, right? Yeah. And then you're just sliding into <laughs> the sauna. Oh, a sauna. So, yeah. When you said sauna, I was thinking a no, tanning a bed. a sauna. For some reason. The hot room. Oh, that you, yeah. And, yeah, and it comes off. Yeah. Like. It's not so, good. So, you've been to saunas? Yeah. Because you're a lady. Oh, I, no, it's separated, right? The sun is separated by sexes, yeah. right? Okay. I think so. Uh, so I used to do like a hot yoga mm -hmm. back in the day when I had money for it. Um, <laughs> before the pandemic. <laughs> they don't have government assisted <laughs> hot yoga? Right? It's no? so good. You feel so good after that because you're just sweating. And also that makes you uh, wanting water after that. Oh. So that's a good thing. And when you just go out of it, it's just you feel like... Your body is just breathing. It's so nice. It's so so good. Have you ever tried? I've I've been wanting to. So I didn't. I've never done yoga mm -hmm. before. Like okay, this is what I did. Why you're putting it in a <laughs> quotation marks? Because look, I for the last two years I've recommended yoga to so many people. Uh, like whenever somebody says they have back problems, whatever, I'm like, man, have you tried yoga? I, but I haven't tried it, right? But I always, <laughs> wow, you know what Not I mean? Not following his own it's advice. You know, <laughs> you know what? It, so if I go by the 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 what is it? DDT property. What's his name? Diamond Dallas Page, right? Yeah. So Diamond Dallas Page started doing yoga, mm -hmm. and he's he was friends with all these old wrestlers, and wrestling is really tough, even though it's quote unquote fake, it's scripted, but it's very tough on your body. They're out there like all oh, year. Yeah. yeah, it's horrible. They they're all fucked up. They're on painkillers, cocaine, other drugs. But anyways, they're all fucked up. Like, I don't know. Was it Jake the Snake, right? Jake he used to Snake smoke Roberts. crack cocaine, right? Yep. He, he would smoke crack cocaine. They all did steroids. And he couldn't barely walk. And he got a bunch of these wrestlers, got him on yoga. Okay. But he called it his yoga. It was more manly yoga, right? It didn't have uh -huh. the thing. And then it no helped a bunch of... Involved. Yeah, bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> did you Huh? What you say? <laughs> no lotion involved in that. No, yoga. No, no. Or okay. if it's, a, it's man lotion, right? They use WD forty or something. But anyways, uh, DDP yoga, right? Oh, okay. DDP one, baby. Oh, is there a trailer for his DDP yoga? Uh, Let's yeah, see. I can find some. Let's find a trailer and we'll see what DDP. But look, so based off of this, I give people advice. Who has any back problems? Or like, you yeah. should try yoga uh, because of this. But what I did is years ago, I saw a yoga video, and then I watched it. It was like basic intro and i would do the steps on that video always for years and i would do the stretches but oh. I, I only did the stretch i didn't like the other part when it was like the breathing i did some of the breathing but oh, it's so the boring, stuff that's yeah. more <laughs> spiritual or more like you know like i don't know yeah. at that i wasn't i wasn't well like, are oh. you are you able to shut off your brain because i can like i went on uh yes to a yes. massage uh -huh. for one hour straight it was so good and all the time my brain was just like tick, 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 tick. and i'm like julia stop please stop i can't <laughs> I just can't. I need to start meditation or smoke weed. I was going to say, do, do you smoke? No, do you, I don't. Because smoking could lead. James used to smoke. I don't know if he's... he's I'm back on. He's back yeah. on, right? He goes sober. He goes this way. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, like, I, it's great. <laughs> I needed a break, but okay. like, it's fucking... It's How tight. long was your break? Uh Oh, God. Like, I want to say like six to eight months. It was a while. Oh, that's a big break. It was oh, a damn. while. Yeah. Yeah, it was more than in October then. But yeah. yeah, like so I was gonna say because can, we can lead you in two ways. It could be relax you, or you can overthink more when you're already kind of thinking. I think I'm gonna overthink the shit out of my life. How do you feel when you drink? Um, a very re uh, social okay. <laughs> and relaxed. You ever drink alone? Uh, no. Oh. That's the thing. I'm a very social drinker, but my problem is that I'm too social. Okay. So I'm right on the edge of alcoholism just because i'm social not because of the drinking because okay? it's because you're having fun yeah right and you're social yeah. and i'm not i'll never drink like before the show i might drink during the show but mm -hmm. i'm gonna wait like right before my set just to have a couple of sips mm -hmm. or something but i'll never just like get extremely drink uh drunk during the day or wake up and open a beer or something so you're into ass eating right you were talking the last time <laughs> i went wow <laughs> right <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we were were you drinking when you when you uh, so you came up so you okay, no, let's I promote your show. No, I enjoyed it sober. You were at no, let the show. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking about the show. I'm talking about the show. Oh my god. Oh, okay. when, you, when you talked about us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look, um, so low with it. This is what we talk. We talk about ass eating and <laughs> yoga. But <laughs> we're at your show. It was a red room comedy room, yeah. right? And then when you went up, you started talking because it was like at the end of the night. You were like, whatever. Yeah. You were like, fuck it. I'm gonna. Well, you guys want to hear some dirty or something? You're like, this is ass eating, yeah. right? And <laughs> at that point, I think you were. Were you a little bit drunk or more no. comfortable with? No. Okay. No. Uh, I think somebody somebody else brought the ass eating before that, so mm-hmm. that's why I felt comfortable to do that material. I do not feel comfortable doing this material in the red room because my boss hates it. Oh, okay. He hates it. He is very against um, ass eating. Ass eating. He's a wait. Na- what boss? <laughs> wait, wait. The boss there? What do you mean, boss? Um, the guy who is owning the. Building, oh, the owner. The, okay. Yeah, it's the, the husband and wife, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, but the one who is like kind of running right now the business because. You saw them; they're like ninety-two years old. Yeah, like the couple. Was that lady in yeah. the corner? That's the yeah. wife. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, in the throne, the little yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're cool. guys. They're ninety-two years old people. <laughs> they opened that bar. They have like three, four bars right now, but they started a legacy. This bar has been functioning for the past sixty-two years. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's still killing it, you know. And um, so now, kind of, uh, their son is taking over. Okay. And he's the one who is against ass eating. Oh, but no, yeah. the dad's for okay with the ass eating. Oh, I've never Are asked ne- him. Okay. Never had that conversation <laughs> like, look, with him. Yeah. <laughs> How you feel about the ass eating stuff? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's why I felt so okay to do it. Sometimes I'm just like looking. Was for it with the, the Puerto Rican in California, or how did this ass eating start? Because Puerto Ricans like ass eating. Oh, I don't know. I I've been doing this back in Bulgaria, mm. so. <laughs> Before oh, I Bulgarian yeah, <laughs> do so when you because it's it was so it was popular back then. I wonder. I actually never discussed that openly with anybody. Okay, <laughs> when I was back in Bulgaria, um, they front nev- a pound ass eating in I, Bulgaria. I used to, you know, I was dating this guy um, for a long time, four mm-hmm. years. So okay. we had for four years enough time to discover new things. Mm-hmm. And keep in mind, I met him when I was eighteen. He was twenty one. Okay, so we were experienced. You know, you know, learning each, each other, other things, yeah. life. Okay, and it was great. And at one point, we were like, "Well, what should we do now?" And I was like, "Let me eat, eat your ass." And, <laughs> 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 and that's how my journey began. He yeah. liked it. Yeah, he loved it. Yeah. So the first time, I not ate ass, got my ass eaten. You know what I mean? Like I, you know. Ate... I hope he's not gonna watch this. By the way. Oh, who the guy uh, whose yeah. ass? I ate? No. <laughs> I never. Oh, your your ex boyfriend. Yeah. He's what he doesn't fucking support you, son of a bitch. Um, oh. No. Oh, I'm blocked. <laughs> oh, it's one of those because you were friendly with an ex boyfriend, or um, not? Was it not the same one? No, we were actually keeping in touch. At uh, one point, we were just shooting each other messages for birthdays. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Once a year, pom pom pom. But now I think um, his uh, relationship just oh. got super serious. Yeah, it's so, block time. Yeah, it's yeah, block yeah, time. Yeah, I have some yeah. people blocked. You know, I'm because this, a relation, yeah, there's some. The blocks. last message that I sent him for his birthday, it just didn't go even through. <laughs> it was like, bitch, no. <laughs> <laughs> not only that, I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna receive that shit. You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of comes with the territory sometimes when it's like you're in a relationship. I get it. I get it. it I, I get like yeah, because I have there's yeah. I looked I looked at my block list the other day. I was like, who's blocked? Who's not blocked? And I was like, I was just kind of going through with my girlfriend, like oh like oh that one yeah that one has to stay blocked. You have blocked. a whole list. Well, you, you if you go to your Instagram, you go to Facebook, you could see who's blocked or not. Oh, you, like I, I had people blocked. I don't block people. Uh-huh. Like <laughs> no, I I'm just against this. I don't know. I think it's just too childish. Like I will send you a message. Why the fuck I hate you, <laughs> with all of the reasons from A to Z. I okay. said Bulgarian yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like super to the point, and then I will just stop uh, opening the messages. But I don't know blocking. I want to see how persistent <clears throat> you are. Okay, you know, like I might give you some extra ten points for it. Who who knows. <laughs> <laughs> you're cool as fuck dude <laughs> dude but look yeah i mean it's look i, I we've all we we're all have friends with females in comics so we like get to see their dms and stuff mm-hmm. like there's, it's it's uh, the same old thing there's always there's one dude who's talking to himself right yeah. so i'm sure you have a guy who's been talking messaging you for months and you probably never responded right like they go do you have this they go they go they message they message and you don't respond but they keep 
Do you ever get what? Do you ever get this one? They oh, respond can, and they get angry, oh, but you've yeah, never yeah, said yeah. anything to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. I can right? even show you. Yeah, there, pull it up. There's one guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, oh wait, am I gonna uh, fucked up the frequency if I get my phone? No, no, no. You're okay. Oh, okay. We'll be good. That's just me. So this guy uh, sent me a message, a picture of a gun. Uh huh. Oh, I'll tell you what kind of gun it is, possibly. Oh, there, unless it's oh, a oh, rifle that I'm not too familiar with. Them. Wait, 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 wait. So I received that. I think like two o'clock in the morning drinking in some bar you were drinking i was drinking <laughs> i think that he was drinking as well oh, <laughs> oh what is what was his name uh oh well yeah so, there you go oh look at this so uh, uh, uh and then i got a little bit scared i'm not gonna lie so i decided to just shoot him a message be like hey buddy you know we're on a good note please don't kill me yeah um <laughs> And I was like, just to let you know, I don't want to have anything with you. You know, please leave me alone. And after that, I was just like, hey, how are you? Pick <laughs> up your phone. What's up? <laughs> Sexy. You know, just one Sexy word. Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one word. I'm like, is oh. that how you're bringing people back in your life? So this is the picture of the gun. Okay. Yeah. He has a Glock 9. Hey, I have the same gun. <laughs> It is a Glock 19. It's a great pistol. It's, uh, I think, 15 plus one. Or is it? Is it loaded? Oh, oh, he has an extended clip. So this might be a 30 clip, actually, which I also have, too. This is me. No. <laughs> Did you <laughs> send me that? No, I, don't have a, I don't have a laser. I don't have a laser. She also has a laser on Oh, right so now. he can just sniper the shit out of me? He has a laser, and it is actually... Uh, wait a second. Why is a, the action back here or whatever? That's weird. Um, anyways, but he... What does that mean? Is that well, good? Because the no, pistol, that can be good. No, because these are, that's odd. So it, it's not loaded or he pulled the trigger and it's not loaded or something. Because it's not supposed to be this far back, this uh, trigger right here. So maybe he, he pulled it and has nothing in it. Okay, it might be empty, but it looks like he has an, oh, here, James. Now you you're, now you're yeah. even uh, scaring me even Black more. 19. And he has extended. So most likely he has a 30 round clip oh, in yeah, it. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So um, That's cool. So if he missed, he has just like Yeah, so he, more. he's 31 <laughs> rounds. He has... Uh, so showed you. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. God delete damn that. It. Delete that. God, God, God damn it. Damn it. I'll um, delete it for you. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, and this <laughs> came with the message. Uh, look at my new bitch, and I was like, right. "What's his new? All who's right. his new bitch? I don't know. The the gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, but aggressive. That's very rapey talk, right? Look at my new bitch. Like, yeah. yeah. But look at this after that. They're just like, please leave me alone. That's and you. From, and from this, is just like. Miss you. Like, Miss you? you? Did you guys hang out? What's, no. Do you, did you I block? mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's like, did you block me on IG? Miss you? <laughs> no, but the thing is that I did not. He's just, I don't know. Probably he was just like super drunk and couldn't find my name. I don't know. <laughs> 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 no, because it's different on IG. Like I've, you know, I used to stalk people all the time, not in real life, just uh, yeah. social media stalking. Like you know what I mean? You know what I did? I restricted him so he cannot see when I open the message. Oh, okay. but that's not blocking no. because he can still. You, you can know, still yeah. like seeing. So it's not. Yeah, it's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like half blocking. How'd I you guess. guys meet? Ah, <laughs> uh, at the bar. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Good looking dude, or anyway, I don't even. No. Wanna, okay, we'll uh, move on from this guy. Yeah, move on from this. But yeah, the mm -hmm. thing is, <laughs> oh, go ahead. Uh, the thing is, now you even scared me more because you said that he has a laser on the gun, so uh -huh. that means that he's not gonna miss me. He means um, if he he'll probably miss. Him. If he needs a laser, he'll miss. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like he needs a laser, but that is, it is a lot he, easier with laser. So, <laughs> not to let's okay. be realistic. You know? I, I like I, I could you know I could sit here and you know gas you up. I was like, no, everything's gonna be okay. But it will be okay. It'll be it fine. Is Get a good. pepper spray. It, it, well, I do have, and I have a t taser also. Oh, um, nice. oh yeah. yeah. Well, it's good that we're recording oh, this because you are my witnesses. Yeah. Uh, as long as uh, the, I don't know, 500 people who are going to watch, or I don't know what is your view, no. rate. <laughs> he was like, no. <laughs> but um, what was I going to say about, yeah, he has, a, he has a Glock 19. At least it's not a fucking XD. I fucking hate those guns. But anyways. <laughs> Whatever least, it is, that doesn't make it better for me. No, it doesn't because it's a very reliable weapon. So it's <laughs> unlike, even if you're not a good shooter, it, and it doesn't have a safety. Right. Oh my so God. let's say it's not like he. This is so bad. But there's the truth. You just go, you point, and you put. Versus he had, let's say, at Springfield, you uh -huh. have a safety. He's stumbling. Oh, he forgot to take the safety off. He gives you another extra second. A Glock is just like, and it's very reliable. Great. <laughs> 
So let's get you, let's get you, we'll get you a Glock. But look, uh, ass eating, ass eating, right? The first time it happened to me, I, uh, it was a Puerto Rican, of course. Uh, yeah, Puerto Ricans, freaky Puerto Ricans. You know that I have something. (laughs) I know you have something about Puerto Ricans. (laughs) Hey, did something happen with you in that Puerto Rican country? Because last time you said nothing happened, but I don't know if you said it because you had a boyfriend at the time. Is that why? So we kept texting. He went back, unfortunately, to Puerto Rico. Okay. So now we just have unfinished business, and now I have to go there. There's like, I have to. You should. And Puerto Rico is a great place. I, I want to. Yeah. It's on my bucket list to go. So, so there's Puerto Rican, right? So there's, you're telling me that if I go to Puerto Rico, I'm gonna get my ass eaten from him? Oh well, yeah. Oh, perfect. I mean, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And then he'll ask to get his ass eaten and probably a finger in his butt because that's what Puerto Ricans like. <laughs> <laughs> so then that sounds was like a good plot to me. So what? <laughs> what happened was I don't know if you ever done this. Like, I do do this like over. What is it called? Overpromise. You're mm-hmm. su- in sales, you're supposed to underpromise, over okay. deliver oh. is the term in sales. And then what I did is I overpromised, right? So I was messaging with this girl and then I was like, let's see what I can kind of get away with saying or push my limits. So uh-huh. I'm like, I was like, man, what's up, girl? So you eat ass or something like that. Some, I was like, you like eating ass? What an opening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so I'm like saying things like that. And I was like, yeah, I want you to eat my ass, blah, blah, blah. Just seeing like how far I can kind of go. It was a thing I liked doing at one point was like kind of just pushing like, let's see how far I can take this, you know, before you meet, you know. So testing then, the limits. Yeah, testing. And I totally <laughs> forgot I even brought this up. We ended up kind of hanging out, whatever. And then I don't know, oh, it might have been, yeah, was, maybe it was the first time like we slept together. I remember mm-hmm. I went to her place. We watched some last comic standing. Oh. And then I got to my, um, this is how I used to drink. Oh, I don't drink like this anymore. It was like you have one drink. You're the chaser in the drink. So it was yeah. like, and that's, how, you know, and it's, I was, I'm always myself usually. So I'm not going to be fake. So it's like this is how I drink. So I brought my bottle of probably Smirnoff <laughs> and my monster diet energy drink with the hell I was drinking at that time. And I'm like, all right, let's go. So we're watching. I'm drinking. And sometimes you don't regulate what you're if you have a mixed drink or a shot mm-hmm. you know how many you're having but this yeah. is a point where sometimes the swigs at the end get a little bit more like yeah, yeah. lax right so then i'm <laughs> heavy like pour yeah yeah into heavy pour mouth. right into my mouth and i'm like <laughs> and then we're there and i'm like you know i think we start having sex and at one point uh she's like turn around and i was like huh i was like all right and i'm like okay and i'm just kind of laying there i don't know it's like what's going on with it and then i felt it like and i was like because it was it was from zero to like a zero tongue to, or a finger tongue it was okay. a tongue and i was like what's going on and she was like, and i think it was a position where i was like laying down and on my stomach and just it didn't feel right to me it's the first time it ever happened to me and i'm like <laughs> man i was fucked up for like a few days like i was i remember at that point i was like oh you were gro- going through emotions I it, yeah that. i called my friends oh. and i was just when i left in that morning i was like this you know and i was younger and it was a long time ago and i was like this is am i gay now is this <laughs> is this what is this what it is, is this how it starts or i wasn't sure and it was i was just confused about everything and then i got over it. I, like, I like getting my ass eaten now but at the bar i was young the, you know you're young i'm impressionable and then and it was the uh, you know, I prefer uh, not to be explicit for the Christian listeners out here, but I prefer like maybe if I'm laying down, I just don't. Things I don't like, I can't do is I can't be on all fours, okay. right? Okay. And then, yeah, that one. <laughs> really, like, like ch- is- I look, I wouldn't even give a fuck if a chick pegged me, but I can't be on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> And I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't be, it's just, it doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I tried some stuff on my girl and she's like, all fours. I was like, I'll just lay on my stomach and then you can yeah. do it down there. Whatever. Get, yeah. Get to yeah. work. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to be on all fours. You know what I mean? There's like certain rules. Well, I will share something with you after I, I had a butt plug in me. I had oh. diamonds in it, but I was not on all oh, fours. Oh, you bougie. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was her. Some dude gave it to her before we met. Uh, well, I'll, I have a picture of it. Pull it up. No, but I do. <laughs> In the hidden folder. I'll be very you're surprised. Saying, you're, you're but saying. I'm all for it. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Uh, since I started doing this material about the ass eating, mm-hmm. I have so many people Go coming and the they're show. just like trying. They're like, how about you, you and me? And I'm like, <laughs> how about oh, you is that? Ass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they want to eat my ass. And I'm like, is that how you're putting things into the existence? You know, you're just developing. Yeah. This is how I manifest. <laughs> I just write a stand up material. Share it with a bunch of strangers and waiting for somebody to come and make my dream come true. Yeah. yeah. Your dreams of <laughs> do it. This, is, this su- is the reason why I'm a comic. <laughs> I, I, man, it sucks. And I see it all the time. When it, anything semi-sexual that 
semi relationship sex or anything a girl says on stage as soon i'm sure you got a bunch of dudes going up to be like oh well, actually i'm i'm pretty good at that myself <laughs> guess what baby <laughs> <laughs> so you like eating ass uh, <laughs> tell me more <laughs> and it's like but i don't i don't luckily i don't i don't have to you see that's the stuff with dudes i don't have to deal with any of that stuff after like oh do you have like a eating ass material that you're sharing um I, maybe that's why they're not coming to no you no like, like i had hey. that I, I have a butt plug. I remember. Diamonds. No, no, no. I don't have that. Like, it's my girlfriend's butt yeah. plug. But she let me borrow it <laughs> in my ass. But Because <laughs> I remember that first time, man, she put in the reason. I was like, look, use a bunch of lube. And I'm like, um, and then and I was like, and when it went in, when it first, I was like, I, I thought it went in all the way. or <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like hers. Oh, like hers went in. That's actually that same butt plug. Maybe a few weeks ago went in her all the way. Oh. Cause I don't know what I, mean, I was doing something with my foot. I don't know. But then I was like, "Oh shit, where'd it go?" And then we freaked out for some. But we, we oh, you pushed thought it that out. you lost it? Yeah, we did. Go went in all the way. Like the oh, there's not like a... there is, but that <laughs> oh that That's yeah, true. I pushed it through with my toe or something. I don't know what the fuck we were doing, but um, okay. I got I got I got yes, sir. Well, so many questions, but <laughs> the main one is: What is the sanitization protocol for a a multi person butt plug? Um, so we, after we go wash in the bathroom with the regular soap, but if you use, now this is what I don't get. Cause she said, you know, if, if anything in the butt, if you use like a, the dish soap, it's a okay. degreaser. So it helps clean it more. But then she said something about some other, I don't know if it was a toy. Like, don't use that because it's going in my vagina. So maybe the butt stuff, it's okay to use. I have to look this up, use up like something like a dish soap cause it's a degreaser. Okay. But if it's going in your vagina, maybe... Maybe I do not, not so much. Own book plugs, so I'm I'm not sure yeah. about this. Yeah, so we we I've used that, but I remember I was like trying. I was using it. And she's like, "Why are you using that? It's gonna go in my vagina." And I was into my head. I was like, "Then are we supposed to use the fucking Ajax orange for, <laughs> for I this am, one?" I am fan of the clitter sucking toys. That's oh, my we preference. pull them up. I'm gonna see them. I go buy one for. Uh, yeah, they're the best. Put clit sucking. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are like two types. One's are the one that they're sucking your clit, and the other, they put like an air pressure on it. Are these? Do any of these look familiar or no? No. Oh, what that's size, like a pipe. What, what the fuck is this? Wait, size wait, wait, vaginal wait. pump? Is that? To yeah, take, yeah, that's not it. I think it's for like make your puss all. Or something. That <laughs> it's puffy. not it. It's pumped. So pumped little. pussy. It has pump? to be like super little. No. Not deep. No. 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 It ha take the the pump. Out of the Google search. Oh, oh wait. no, we have clit sucking. Clit sucking. Uh, best sellers in clitor. Oh, there you go. Oh, the which first one, one. It looks like a two pack. First, first one. Yeah. Oh, the first one. Okay. Yeah. The Satisfier Pro Two. All right. Join oh, the, that is. Looks like that, an eye, like a like. Oh, it looks like an AirPod for your pussy. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is actually Belisa. Let me tell you about this this company. I was so <laughs> surprised of them. So I was watching porn one night. Okay. Mm-hmm doing my research and um (laughs) (laughs) i saw this very passionate you know movie for grown-ups and i was like well that is different and i was like okay what is the company and it was this company belisa or belisa i don't know how you pronounce it Hmm. and i did my research and it turns out that this company shout out to belisa by the way send me some uh, good stuff (laughs) for free please (laughs) <laughs> uh, it turns out that this company is woman owned mm-hmm. you know it's all about women are writing the scenarios they're producing the the movies they're developing the toys absolutely everything is made from women to women and i think that's the coolest shit ever you know and also one of their policies is that no fake orgasms during sets you know so they they legitimately have couple of videos that you're like okay are you gonna finish are you gonna give me some fake call and she she's like no it's 2021 I'm not doing this shit anymore yeah oh no fake words so it's no. balesa balesa b-e-l-o-e-s-a so uh that one you recommend yeah, use my code for 20 percent julia lobo den for 20 percent off site wide oh let me see. pull down let me see some of these i want to see dude i'm sending this podcast to them I so don't the care. satisfier pro and the finger pro all right i can show you which one i have oh, it's only 59 bucks That's i bad. have this one the the red one yeah this guy mm-hmm. oh it comes like an airpod it's legit case. an airpod mm-hmm. that's great 
You can uh, play with your clit and then listen to the Love It and podcast with it when you're done. (laughs) It's kind of a noisy (laughs) one, so I cannot do it when somebody's in the house. Mm Mm-hmm. How Unless I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Very, it, it, yeah. The flutter Ooh, time. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's a little mouth. It is a little it's mouth. It's a little mouth. It's a baby mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get all the good shit. I swear to God. Man. Yeah, dude. Remember that piece they of have shit? for men. Let me at least see the men yeah. stuff. Because it's like. Is there men stuff? So yeah. I bought. Oh, here we go. So Jessica bought me this. Uh, this fucking remember that rocket that looks like uh, the rocket for um, yeah, what's the guy from Toy Story? Yeah, Buzz Lightyear. The Buzz Lightyear Ooh. one. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> that's what it looked like. It looked like the rocket. Here, this is Buzz what you, this is what you need, Giovanni. He looks cross right in your ass. <laughs> He's saying, <laughs> <laughs> I, but I've never gotten any, any of that stuff. <laughs> ass oh. uh, ass orgasm stuff. Straight Straight up was the there. time. Yeah, look at all that rings and shit. Rings. What's are they doing? Something by the way. I've always been very skeptical about the rings See, so push. this is what i've heard this is what the lady said at the sex shop she said because she even had these pocket pussies or mm-hmm. whatever and i'm going to lead you to look up there an article in a second okay right not yet but i'm going to write down 30k right so then okay. anyways so i was talking to a lady at the sex shop and then she said even her stuff she's like man honestly the more realistic ones and they don't they don't they sell direct are the uh what's the one that rogan used to have the fucking uh, the fleshlight right fleshlight. he says mm-hmm. Hands down, probably the most realistic one. So we're looking at one, but I don't know. Because the one I had fucking, st- it's, I was like, all right, it, it sucked. It was horrible, but I no saw they were developing. Uh, oh, well, I got so excited to tell you. Listen, so <laughs> there's like a pocket pussy mm-hmm. and a vibrator. So if you have like a relationship, like long distance relationship, mm-hmm. you're fucking the pocket pussy. And wh- however you push it, that's how the dildo is moving inside of her and there's like a i don't know wi-fi connection yeah. i don't know what is what like is Louis happening but would is, say, it's going to space but yeah ever, uh-huh. and it's coming back it takes a second but yeah i was like wow that is some good shit like <clears throat> I, w- I will i'll take that if i have a boyfriend and i'm going for a uh, one month in bulgaria did you were you in a long distance relationship no i've never had one actually no not you james no. you either Try to, uh no oh, i was like really no I, I had like a one summer that I was separate with this guy was uh, where we were dating for four years, but that was it. And then it kind of like fizzled out after that. No, actually, it worked out very you well. You guys are for together. Us. Yeah. So yeah. Hey, who'd you? So last time, uh, did you go to a breakup recently? You were with somebody, right? Or no? Mm-hmm. Did it go well? Because you, were, I remember like last time I asked, yeah, you want to do the podcast? You're like, nah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I'm, no. no, I was just like not having anything going on at that point, you know, okay. because it was right after the pandemic, mm-hmm. if I remember correctly, when you were asking I, possibly, me. Possibly, yeah. It's all like the I last was, two years have been a blur. Yeah, for me. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't doing comedy. I didn't have the comedy uh, red room comedy room. But no, I don't think anybody I was wasn't, doing comedy yeah. or something like that. Yeah. I no, I think people actually start going to the scene, but I was just taking my time. Okay. You know, people doing so. Zoom mics and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and I was like. What should I, if I do his podcast, I'll just talk about eating ass for 30 minutes, which is exactly <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I think that, that was the reason why I said no. Scooping is a, is a term where you're having sex with somebody, and I don't know the specifics of it, but from what I was telling, because uh, our, our gay friend that we know told him, that when you scoop somebody, so you're with a girl, you're, you're having sex with her mm-hmm. in the, I want to say in a... What's an what's a nice way to say anal or in her ass without being graphic? Penetration. Okay. Uh, Penetrating her. Backdoor penis. Backdoor. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It reminds me <laughs> of old school nineties of uh, pornos and video shops. Yeah, backdoor. baby. Or sphincter. Oh, there's sphincter. No, Very nice. clinical. Look at yeah. look at my vocabulary. <laughs> so, uh, oh, Limp Biscuit. What was the name? Didn't they have a Nookie? Nookie. No, a nickname for one of their albums for like a butthole. Oh, uh, the chocolate starfish. Yeah, the chocolate starfish. There it is. <laughs> yeah, we give you a bomb. Boom, boom. There you go. <laughs> there <you> go. <laughs> <laughs> so I was putting in her chocolate starfish, and then some chocolate came out. Right. No! Oh my god. And that's called scooping because I remember it was like we're, I was doing a. She's like recording a video, right? And I was like, man, it's gonna be a cool video where like no, no, the, no. you pull it out and you see the ejaculate come out, which is the male stuff but then it was like the chocolate but i don't know i like i was like man, it's kind of cool i felt kind of like i don't know proud because when you're pregnant you get constipated 
right? A lot. Yeah. So sometimes, I don't know, I thought I was helping, but she didn't poop for like another day or anything. But I was like, oh, is this help? Uh, I felt like I was like, oh, yeah. Well, that, that was a different time. But anyway. So you were playing the doctor. I felt, <laughs> yeah, Dr. S. <laughs> But if it's, I was like, but I, our gay friend is like, oh, it's called scooping. Like we're having so sex with somebody, and you like you s like scoop out their oh. chocolate. But it's not chocolate. It's I love coming here. I'm learning <laughs> new stuff. <laughs> I know. Look, this is this is the institution for learning. And uh, yeah. okay, I was just listening to Tim Dillon. Was just Are you gonna about pull out guy. the video now? No, it's an article, right? <laughs> it's uh, Sue's parents' 30k uh, porno collection, right? Did you hear about this guy? I, Dylan was just talking about oh. it. Okay, my, all right, let's look it up. So this guy, I think what happened was he got, and there it is, parents ordered to pay 43-year-old son 30 k after getting rid of his pornography collection. Cool. So from... <laughs> so generous. So from what I from what I heard, uh, here, let's maybe just scroll up a little bit, but from what I heard, all right, so a man who has a threat pornography and sex, and they threw out his pornography and sex toy collection at 46 years old because he got divorced mm -hmm. and then moved back there with his parents. That was a mistake on their part. <laughs> Uh, the parents of David Work at 43 must now pay their son $30,441 as they scarred the pornography collection, which he claimed was worth nearly $29,000. Oh I thought porn was free nowadays, but I guess it's not. <laughs> not for the collectors. People no. <laughs> working. Okay, working asked about the missing items in January, and his father informed them they were destroyed. <laughs> I don't think you have been listening to me, so let me make this very clear. This is the dad talking to his son. I do not possess your pornography. <laughs> Paul admitted in an email, including in the lawsuit. It's con has been either destroyed or disposed of. I may have missed a few items that are now in your possession, but as a point, you don't have to get it. It's gone. Ditto for your sex toys and smutty magazines. So I wonder what happened in there. Like, what kind of childhood this guy had? This is... Uh, you raised, uh, would you <laughs> sue your parents if they threw away your $30,000 worth of this? is? Uh, I just Can we look, Google this dude? Is there a picture of this Inside guy? the boxes were films such as Lesbians in, in Tight, tight shorts, shorts, University <laughs> Coeds 25, that's a good one, and 1001 one <laughs> Erotic Nights. I'm so glad that nobody mentioned something like Two Girls, One Cup or whatever. <coughs> well, that's free. Oh, that's so, free. Okay. Know. Uh, yeah, let's see. Nobody if we can wants find to a collect that picture of that guy. No, they sure don't. Um, <laughs> David working. Please, God, show me a picture of this man. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so David, uh, oh, look at this a... cool dude. He has a snowblower. <laughs> Damn. Sun wind. Oh, that's also. the mom and dad. Oh, that's the mom and dad. They're oh. not showing that. Wow. Yeah, they need some. Mm, she's kind of stacked. They yeah, need some butt yeah. plugs. <laughs> to relax. I think Is that Happy Gilmore? Yeah, it's Or Abby Billy Gilmore. Madison? No, that's Billy Madison. Yeah. No, it's Happy Gilmore. Look at that no, hat. Look Madison. at that hat. Look at that hat. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, that's the parents. There's no picture of the guy. Now, so I've said this before on the podcast, but you were bringing up two girls in a cup, but people don't know it's a it's a it's a video uh, filmed mm -hmm. in Brazil, where two women. Um, there's a man, I believe he shits in the cup, and they eat out of the cup, but then they also eat out of the I don't remember the specifics, right? Have you watched but, it? <clears throat> who has? I think I everybody's watched, watched it. I haven't watched it, but yeah. Oh, you've never seen it? No, no, no. I have somebody explain it to me, and I was like, well, that's it's ending up in the list of things that I don't want to see. Is this a crime if I ask her to if she wants to watch it? No. Okay. Would you Do you want to watch it? No. Okay, so I'll explain it to you then. That's fine. <laughs> I'll tell you kind of what happened uh, with me, like, because uh, you hear about it, right? Yeah. So then it's, you know, I couldn't find it, and then I found it on, uh, remember E-Bombs World? Remember that uh, yes, website? I, yeah. Yes, I do. Is, so I found it. Okay, Two Girls in a Cup is the title of a trailer for Hungry Bitches, a scat pornographic movie produced by MFX Media. The trailer features two women defecating to a cup, taking turns, eating the feces, and throwing it up in each other's mouth. Oh, yeah, I forgot about it. This Carla is and Latifah. in Wikipedia. Yeah, so it was part of, what's it? Oh, Hungry Bitches was part of the... Uh, <laughs> Too extreme to produce. <laughs> HB. Hungary kind of it's, it's derived from the word Hungaria, right? Which is close to. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, that close. Bulgaria. <laughs> Bulgaria. Oh my god! But look, this is the thing, right? This is a video. So you watch. I watched the video. This, okay. this is what happened with me. I watched, and there's a lot of reaction videos online where you see and you see people's reactions. So I watched it, and then I was like, "Yeah, that wasn't that bad." Oh my god! One, <laughs> two, three, four, five seconds later, it was like a delay. 
uh, oh shit, I go outside and I threw up outside my like I uh, run to my friend's front door and I throw up and I was like Are they throwing up during the video or no? No. Yeah. They yeah. throw up a little bit? Yeah, they throw up shit into oh. the cup and then eat it. But not vomit. Not uh Well, it's vomit and shit. Okay. I'm gonna have to watch this again on the way home. But look <laughs> It's a lot. So this is the thing, and I've said this before on the podcast. This kind of changed my life and it kind of changed my perspective. Cause at first I was like, that's disgusting. Then I threw up, and then I thought, "Wait a second. I mean, hold on. Like, if they'll do all that, like, what else they'll do?" And it opened my eyes to the possibilities, or sexual possibilities. Like, man, what kind of shit will people do or chicks do? Like, it kind of like excited oh me. God, like, man, what kind a- of freaks they gotta be to eat and shit? <laughs> like, oh my god! And it kind of opened up my perverted mind. Like, man, there's some freaks out there, and I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about. And it opened my. I was like, man. I so was you like, had a spiritual but I'm, zing moment after that. Yeah, and I did. I did. <laughs> I was like, what kind of mad freaky bitches are there out there? No offense, yeah. but I was like, oh my god. And I was like, and it really like, and I probably didn't get laid for a few years anyways, and just masturbated for three years in a row until I lost my virginity. Whenever it came out, I don't remember. But <laughs> the I'm idea sure was that, planted in there. I'm pretty sure that they didn't even get paid uh-huh. for that video. I mean, they got paid, they but, got not paid like, but not like no, they didn't get paid like, like Gwen Stefani million, money no. or something like that. No. I don't know why I brought up that Which reference. Which is sad. Huh? Which is very sad. Like David, uh, David Tell had a, a joke about. Uh, I forgot how it went. It was about somebody do, like he can't watch porn the same. Like, uh, do you remember that Attell joke? Uh, Attell porn. It's a funny joke where it's like they're. My, so my friends call me the butcher because whenever I try to tell somebody else's joke, I do this. I don't. <laughs> so they Butchering something the about joke. rent, rent and drug problem was okay. something like that. Like oh, they're doing this for a rent and drug problem. So as an oh. adult, and you've ever watched? Don't watch. Do you watch porn? I do. But like, don't watch porn documentaries because then it's like, oh, this isn't. This is this. This is ruining like the bubble. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, this, one, these bitches are drug addicts, one and their guy dad, actually, the uncle, it, touched them a lot. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. one guy actually, uh, he loved to show me like. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, by the way. Uh, like a combination of girls who had like a mental breakdown during a set. Those are my favorite, by I the way. <laughs> I, I my my character. I feel Drake so bad to say those. that, but I've been laughing my ass off <laughs> <laughs> about this. They just like you know doing whatever they do you know um and suddenly <laughs> suddenly they're like oh my god my dad is just like <laughs> running away <laughs> from the scene and the guys because they like the show they're just running behind them with the camera it's so well started <laughs> <laughs> they're like don't worry your dad is here but no <laughs> is this, you know what it's called can we pull one up it's like an uh, uh there's like a specific name for that which i don't know what is it I forgot what was it. Give me some keywords and I can type some stuff. Uh, mental, um, porn star mental breakdown during set. That was a whole sentence. <laughs> well, if it's not there, maybe it's good. Lena cries, humiliating. Uh, it's probably that. <laughs> oh, but they're hurts, showing you know. everything, so I don't think you're going to find it on YouTube. Um, oh, well, then we probably sh- can't watch it then as this goes on to YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull up on the screen. We can watch it. Yeah, we can <laughs> describe right, it. All right, let's go to let's go to Pornhub. <laughs> oh my Where god. Where did you see it? Do you remember? Um no. There was like one website for only things like that. Okay. So our <laughs> husbands. <laughs> so, uh, so we're watching it on the bottom down. right corner. There's a big titty chick and CGI. This is what Pixar was created oh. for. Is uh, is ramming this other chick. That's gonna happen. Oh, no. Oh, that video looked familiar. It looked like something from my phone. Any important podcast about my recent? No. no. Oh, look at how people are making podcasts. Who is this guy? Look, Beast Tyler 1, Mental Breakdown. Is he dressed up as a guy from, uh, not Assassin's Creed. Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's Speaking hilarious. Of freaks. It's a fucking, dude, Tyler 1 rips. I love Tyler 1. Um, but anyway. No. Not they're... a porn star, just a YouTube guy. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take that guy. I'll ask him because he's back in Bulgaria. I'll ask him and I'll yeah, tell Yeah, yeah, ask it and I'll put the, <laughs> I'll put the, <laughs> I'll put the. Yeah, put the link below when <laughs> you share the video. Oh, I'll put the link below. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> uh, so you guys started a comedy room in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice turn. Okay. So after we watch and discuss all of these things. Yeah. yeah. So how, how did this come about? Because it's like. Uh, 
What was in that room before? Like, did they have comedy before? It was a or? fucking in the ass room. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of, no, they they had <laughs> the they had that room for a while, and um, they weren't using it. Sometimes they had like a private the red parties. room comedy club. There you go. But they weren't using it a lot. So I start working. So this is what happened. Mm -hmm. This is why I believe so much in the universe and the timing of universe. The last time when I was here was what? Year and a half ago, I think. It was during the pandemic. So sometime in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe beginning of 2020. Because you had the old cameras, like James. It was before these cameras. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because you, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, I can you tell that a lot of, right? yeah, yeah. a so lot of here is upgraded. Because yeah, the quality is going to be better. Yeah, the other one's a little bit choppier than this. Yeah. So uh, we, okay, uh, I started, remember the last time when I was here, we were talking about my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. By the way, now when I'm watching those videos, um, they're so clingy. I cannot even <laughs> <You> watch can? <laughs> them. <laughs> I can I'm just like, ugh, never watch I like your again. intro though. I like yeah. your intro. You have a really cool intro. <laughs> so I started that, and one guy um, connected with me. He was like, "Hey, I love what you're doing. How about you're gonna come and uh, start working for me?" And I was like, "Like what?" Because he is like a business uh, consulting agent. I'm like, "What do you want me to do? I do comedy." He was like, "Well, um, I think that you can be." very good of advertising my social media you know just make it a little bit funnier and suddenly i got hired as a social media director in his company mm -hmm. oh yeah hell yeah yeah because of the youtube my clingy videos um but i love the one where you're talking to yourself and then like you're disappointed oh it's like oh you gotta be <laughs> you're so excited to come to the u.s and then it's like look julia <laughs> that's a great video she went down yeah, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, that job didn't work out. And I was I was very happy because before that, I was bartending. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah. I'm not going to um, just eat the ass of these drunk motherfuckers for yeah. tips anymore. And I'm making actually a step in the right direction. And when that didn't work out, uh, because it was just like too many hours. Mm -hmm. And I got to the point where I felt like, I am investing way more time in somebody else's dream than mine, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's that's why originally I crossed the ocean, you know, to pursue my dreams, not somebody else. Hell yeah. And I, I was like, I guess I'm going to go back to bartending. And I felt so depressed because I was like, oh, I thought that I'm doing something right in the right direction. Now I need to go back. But there you go where the universe comes because mm -hmm. I start working for the guy who is owning the building and he has like five different <coughs> bars and one day I was just joking around with him I was like hey how about we're gonna just push the pool tables and we can make some comedy he was like are you kidding me I have like a whole room in the back with stage I was like hell fucking no he's like yeah let let me show it to you and I walked in I was like dude that is perfect like you have a because he has a for the people who doesn't know, it's like a little private room. They have a separate entrance, separate restroom, separate bar. So once you actually close the doors between those two rooms, it's a completely separate room. And I was like, that is just perfect. And at that point, I um, I was talking to Khalil. I think I met Khalil two weeks before mm -hmm. we were talking with this guy. And he was like, I want to... Um, produce a show with you and it, it just it was just like the perfect timing I have a person who have produced shows before have the experience I do not have the experience I have a place and I'll, everything just came together did I do I deserve to run that room absolutely not but I was just like the right why person. would you say that well because I I think that there's like Especially now, when I've been r running that room for almost three months, I met so many talented people who have been in the game so much longer than me. And sometimes I'm like doubting myself. I'm like, how? Why I am doing this? But you're this, doing you know? it. You're yeah, you mean? did it. You're though. actually doing it. Like not 
<clears throat> so people, a lot of people will say and do things. I'm gonna do this and do that, but you're actually doing it. Like you're running, man. Like I produce some. Sh- I'm producing a show. Oh god. But James <laughs> produce shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the worst. And you guys do a weekly show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's a nightmare. Thinking it about. It is a nightmare. <laughs> I want to. I don't. You know, I'm having a kid and stuff. I don't want to kill myself, but uh, I want to. Just thinking about it makes me. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Yeah. Well, at least cut myself it a little is. bit. Yeah. If I, I come stabbing. here and be like, yeah, everything is going Every perfectly, week. I'm gonna lie. We are struggling, especially with other advertising because right, now right. people we're still in pandemic uh it's in the end of the the summer so people are trying to still take advantage of the good weather so mm-hmm. they're trying to be out not inside um but anyway it was just the perfect timing i think that i was the just the right person in the right moment and with some of the right skills because i was like yeah i can run your social media i can develop the website i can uh, start uh <coughs> facebook pages everything so and it's super organized because I did one of your shows like on the group message yeah. like ba 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 files oh, yeah. flyers like everything's on point you know what I mean yeah Versus, I'm a very organized person that's at least well, that is helping me a lot it is because I remember when like usually when I after I record a podcast I mention somebody who's like hey I'm gonna record yeah. blah blah send me anything you want to promote picture you sent me your stuff links everything perfect you know <laughs> some you. people just look at some people just smart <laughs> just give me a thumbs up. <laughs> I know, I know. So, some comics are just like texting me a name. After five minutes, they're texting me the pictures. Uh, at that point, some other comic is coming with other information. I'm like, oh my God. But yeah, I'm very patient. I'm like, as long as you send me the info, I'm fine. But again, it's the universe know what to do. Because with the point when I was super depressed in the dark spot, place and i was like oh fuck i i gotta be a bartender again Mm -hmm. if i didn't have the balls to quit that job and just be stuck with that crown of uh, a marketer director whatever was it i would never do that you know so people fucking pursue your dreams do it if you have to quit that job that is paying you too much money just quit it and start from the beginning. It something good is gonna come after. Yeah, it, so. and you, when you started, like, oh, you thought you could. Like when I started this, like I didn't, I didn't want to even do a podcast. You know what I mean? At the time, I was yeah. fully committed. It was before the pandemic. I was like full stand. I was like, I only want to do stand up. I don't want to do anything else, right? And that was it. My buddy Eric Brunel was like, yeah, come on, do it, do it. Like he kind of forced. He's like, man, start get a logo, get a yeah. look up a name. Like every week he would buy. I see him in a mic. He'd bother me. Like, did you do this yet? No, no. And I did his, and whatever. And then I started kind of doing it because you know i would go mm-hmm. i'd see him after a mic and i talked to him and told him stories like oh this weekend what'd you do yeah ate ass blah blah blah. didn't get an std thankfully but blah, blah. there was some crazy story about some crazy chick from waukegan or some you know ridiculousness yeah. that I was up to and he was like oh you should start a podcast and i started started and then you know and then you know the pandemic came and i came here but before like i didn't want to do it i was like no 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 and now it's like you know that's kind of when you yeah. it's like doing it you know what i mean like yeah yeah you already with the momentum so once you start it yeah because most people like most people you know ah, i'm gonna write a book whatever but it, one of the hardest yeah. things is that book i know brian morio always recommends it rogan talked about it uh what is it the war of art is that what it's called yeah by Stephen war of art. it's a really great book and that really helped me with procrastinating because you don't realize most yeah. of the stuff you do when you're cleaning your fucking room at two in the morning you're doing anything yeah. you're doing everything in the world to avoid what you kind of want to do and you should do you have this fear because like oh yeah. what if i actually do it i don't do good at it just fucking do it you can know i mean? recommend you another yeah book? yeah um still <clears throat> like an artist it's one what is it called still like an, still artist. Like an artist i don't i don't remember what was uh the name of the author but this change there you go oh still like an artist yes this, austin cleon this book just changed my perspective of creating art doesn't matter we're talking about writing jokes material books whatever it is or creating producing podcasts whatever it's so good it's just it opened my mind please guys check it out it's so good james quit his day job right what was it like a year i did ago? Yeah. no uh in uh may of 2019 I yeah may 29 job. quit his day job wow fuck yeah so I've, been, I've been on my own for over two years now nice survived the pandemic and everything wow yeah that's admirable yeah yeah it got scary but like i mean you're dude like you came here from a whole different fucking country and you she have, doesn't even like water yeah you don't even like <laughs> you, you get you moved by a fresh water lake and you don't fucking like water all right 
And uh, but like you move from an entirely different like society to come here and you created a beautiful hard thing and you know it, it's I, I heard you like getting down on yourself like you don't ever get down on yourself like this is oh, you, you chose to do not only like stand up comedy on its own is hard enough yeah creating a space for people who you know and one day will be wholly ungrateful to you because of <laughs> things that they personal. will perceive that that you you know you will have you are you have now given yourself the 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 title of a gatekeeper whether you like it or not oh, so people are going to hate you for that people are going <laughs> to hate you for not booking them when or how or 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 at what even what time they want to be but like the, oh, you yeah. you oh, have, wow. I'm opening I'm behind this guy yeah oh. the people there are a lot of people who hate me because of that because of how I you know they've perceived what I've done and yeah. that comes with being a producer it's the hardest most thankless job in the industry and you came here from Bulgaria to do that and you're doing it very well my because I've been to Red Room it's a great room it's a fun show it's booked well it's produced well like you're you're doing a really cool thing uh, and I don't ever want to hear you get down on yourself again. From, Thank you. <laughs> from, from from eating ass, putting asses in seats. Am we're I right? Just, yeah, we're just <laughs> finishing so inspirational. Right? Yeah, yeah. But I want to give a shout out to uh, Khalil because he actually helped me a lot. Like I couldn't put the room be, uh, without him. So I'm more like behind all of the social media mm -hmm. and uh, how the show looks. But he was the one who put on the job, do the stage. Yeah, you guys put up, you all, the, you guys put up all the pictures. If you it look, looks great. The pictures weren't even there. Because yeah. yeah. I asked Khalil, I was like, what, were these here? I was like, no. He's like, we put these up. You guys yeah. have pictures of all the comedians. It looks like a, it's a fucking comedy club. It's a comedy club. club. Legit yeah. comedy club it's comedy club. He's a work colleague. Did you like the video that I made? If you scroll down. Yeah, let's click on the video. Yeah, I made that video. It's not the best quality, but no me on. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can see there's Bill Burr. There's one to say. Charles Silverman. Best comics in town. Kitty <laughs> Fuller. Uh, Chris Tran. Chris Tran. Khalil. Drew Lauren, who just broke the book. Shows every week. Oh, there's a lovely there she is. Yeah. Ah. A lovely bartender. Red Room. Just the amount of work that goes into making graphics that appear on the screen like that. Yeah. That like come out like, you know, this is like, I do this for my job now. Just making yeah. something like that is hard enough. Yeah, that video took me like six hours out of my Yeah, yeah people don't get these like videos or whatever that it's uh, 30 seconds, 40 seconds or whatever. Dude, that's a whole day of work. Yeah, yeah. Fucking at hours. least. Yeah. And it's, if it's any good. Yeah, it's fucking hours. You, know you I mean? worked your fucking ass off, dude. Like, and, and it's stressful to be a show. Like, when I went to your show, I was like, fucking, I was the only one who was there who was on damn flyer. <laughs> I was like, nobody else fucking. I looked at the thing. It, okay, I recorded episode 100 that day, right? Mm -hmm. And we were kind of running late. So I was like, hey, I'm yeah. going to message you. And it, the show started like at eight. Uh, no, it started like at. Was eight. that the night when we had two comics? From the flyer that didn't show up. I'm the only one in the flyer outside the host that there showed up. There you go. Speaking of. <laughs> Besides <laughs> the host. Obstacles. I'm the only one. And I remember I knew something bad was going to happen when I messaged you. was like, hey, man, you know, the show started like at 8, 830. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I'm sorry. We, we finished up late. I'll be there like 852. And I saw one of the comics. Yeah. ETA about. 10 o'clock, 9.58. Is that cool? <laughs> I'll say the show starts at 8.30. I love the, yeah, I Jesus love, Christ. by the way, the, the question. Is that cool? Yeah. No, bro, it's not. No, no, <laughs> it's not. I was looking at that and I was like, I don't, I don't feel that bad anymore, I guess. Like, uh, like, Fine. I was like, I'll be, the show starts at 8.30, you know what I mean? And I, felt, I was like, oh, shit, 8.52, oh, I'm running behind, fuck. You know, I looked at the lineup, I was like, I think I can make it. I'm probably be a guest spot in front of me, maybe another one. All right, woo-woo. And then I was like, I might be there. 9.58, is that cool? <laughs> no. The show starts at 8.30. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I, well, the thing is that we're kind of blessed because every time we have at least 
two, three comics who were just appearing, yeah. you yeah. know, and I was like, do you want to do a guest yeah, spot? Yeah, you know, because I knew because I was walking in with my girl and Tito was there, and I was like, Tito, I was like, he's like, you going up now? I just came to support, and I'm like, kind of looking at the message, just looking at Khalil was doing a little bit more. I felt like he was doing a little bit more time than usual. I was like, oh, it looks like they're trying to spur it out a little bit. I'm just telling my girlfriend, yeah. I was look, like somebody's not coming because look, they're sp- trying to spread it out a little bit. And I'm like, I bet Tito's going up. I bet Tito's yeah. So like yeah. I knew because it was the on the flyer. I was the only one. Oh, let me tell you. Up. Do we have time to tell you about my last show? Okay, the, the last, last show. Yeah, okay. So if I can give one advice is don't do a show on the saddest day of American history. <laughs> you nine, did a 9/11? Nine, <laughs> please never produce the show. What went wrong? Tell me. <laughs> we had a lady crying in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> when I say crying, I'm telling you crying. Oh, comics doing crass 9/11 well, jokes. Well, no, well the thing is that her mom apparently passed away like a month or something mm-hmm. so she was going through this and she, she actually drink, stood up of the tower. Yeah. <laughs> <My fucking God. laughs> she Sorry. actually stood up and she shared it with us in the middle of the show Ooh, what? <laughs> what the fuck Damn. and we <laughs> had <laughs> three comics including me talking about passing dead relatives in the past three months mm-hmm. you know she couldn't handle it she was at the end she was just like crying ugly crying thank god she ex- is escorted herself because what should I do? Just go and be like, hey, ma'am, <laughs> you're too sad for this. Yeah. You gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, so, oh fuck? my God. You yeah. Producing a show <laughs> is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, you're the only person I know who ever uh, did a show on 9 11. <laughs> Remember, he recorded a special, or did he ever even record it? Who? Oh At the God. whip. He's, he used to massage people. Oh, Faison. <laughs> Faison. Chris know. Conjure recorded his special on oh, 9-11. Yeah, 9/11 oh, too, yeah. It was yeah. the worst thing I've ever recorded. <laughs> so don't <laughs> record. So I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 9-11 is cursed for Conjure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> something, happened, something happened that day. I don't oh, I'm sure that if I, if I tried to do something in Bulgaria, it's still not going to work. <laughs> so, um, oh, do you have any, uh, any last words? you want to go into the plugs? Last words? Plug your social medias? We're wrapping it up here. Uh, yes. Uh my social media is julia.tony.st. dot st. Tony T O N Y, right? Yes, and S T like S T D, but without the D. Yeah. You know, no D, no S T D. Yeah, no and disease, just sexually transmitted. Yes, and then the Red Room Comedy. We have shows every Saturday, uh, from eight thirty. Doors open at eight. Um, and yeah, you can follow us our website. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's the website, redroomcomedyclub.com, or the Instagram is just Redroom Comedy Club. So, All right. Yeah. And to my left, Mr. James Webb, you want to pr- anything more to promote? Stand up, stand up. Uh, yeah, stand up, stand up is back. You all fucking know what the fuck is up. Uh, first Friday of every month, 1540 off Milwaukee Avenue in the heart of Wicker Park at District Bar and Grill. Uh, the best, by the way, the best wings. In the city, Ooh, hands down, man. I will put money on it. District, come see some Ooh. comedy. Come eat some wings. Uh, depending on when this is out, if it's October, Joey Via Gomez is headlining October first. If it is for November, Dale McPeak is running half of his special that he Ooh. is recording on the eighteenth. Uh, so that'll be no- the first Friday of November. I think that's the third. Please come see. Uh, either one of those shows, uh, tickets are available now at standupstandup.net. And as you know, producing a show is a nightmare, so it would really mean a lot if you bought tickets to my show Absolutely. and Julia's show and uh, and anything Giovanni wants to produce, again, if he does. Uh, if you want to start, if you want to start a podcast at People of Comedy Network on Instagram, at People of Comedy. So follow the Lobo Den podcast on Instagram, Patreon, tell a friend, give me a review. By this time, when this comes out, no, I am producing a show. I think the twenty eighth. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, the flyer should be done soon. <laughs> and then, is there anything else? Um, if you like me, I don't know. Play a clip to your children when I talk about eating ass or something. All right, <laughs> double down. Double